Good morning, fellow privateers. Welcome to the Asian preview, North American wrap. We had the uh, FOMC meeting today, our fearless leader, Janet Yellen's last meeting. No press conference, so just headlines on the release. They obviously did not raise rates. It's 90% expected for March, the next meeting. Uh, the initial reaction, uh, we'd have to kind of drill down to like a 15 minute chart, but the initial reaction was, here's the bar, one o'clock Chicago bar. Dollar yen did sell off down to 109 the figure and then closed, you know, up here on the highs. We did pierce some of these old highs, um, you know, made a new hourly high, but really didn't go anywhere. 109.77 is that is that important old high. Um, it had a little bit of wind in its sails when uh, the Bank of Japan purchased some five and ten year bonds last night, and it, it's been fairly stable ever since. We did have the month end fix as well, which um, the biggest mover in the in the month end fix today. We get down to the, uh, let's get back down to this 15 minute candle. You can see here, this was the WMR fix. So cable was being bought ahead of it, like a half hour ahead of it. And uh, went up from 141.80 area, got up to a high of 142.33. And then you can see how it came back down. And then this was the Fed meeting here on this bar. Initial spike, it was an initial dollar sell off. Don't really know why. Um, gold went bid, treasuries caught a little bit of a bid, but then that reversed very quickly, and, uh, and now we're just backing and filling. So, overall, I would say the uh, market didn't really go anywhere during this, uh, during this, throughout the uh, FOMC meeting. They did mention. Uh, inflation expectations ticking up, which is interesting because we do have the non-farm payroll number. Well, we have ISM tomorrow, and then we have the non-farm payroll number on Friday. And the only thing the market really cares about is average hourly earnings. So I'm wondering if they're hinting, you know, they might have that data by now. Maybe they're hinting toward a, a higher average hourly earnings, which is something that we've been talking about as a group over the past six months or so where you start seeing bond yields go higher, um, hints of inflation, wage increases, and then the, the actual average hourly earnings, um, there's a lag, there's about a three to f five month lag where average hourly earnings do catch up with, uh, with some of the other inflation data. So to me, that's, uh, that's a green light to sell bonds if we do get a strong AG number on Friday. We'll discuss more about that tomorrow to see where things settle. Um, you know, other than that, it, it was it was pretty quiet during North America. I mean, here's, here's the Aussie chart. So, you know, Aussie rallied last night in Asia and then kind of came unglued a, a bit over the um, – over the fix, which was interesting because we had expected there, there to be a dollar sell fix across the board, and Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar sold off. Um, you know, here we are, an Aussie dollar back hanging around the 200 hour moving average. It's uh, its friend, the New Zealand dollar, you know, is, is it, it did spike down to the, the 100 hour moving average on the um, over FOMC, got down to this 73.35 level. You know, these are getting kind of close together. We still like selling rallies. You see the nice sell off over a few hours during New York. Uh, we don't really have much out coming out in Asia. Uh, Australian building permits, and, uh, and that's about it. And then we have the ISM tomorrow during uh, during New York. Here's Bitcoin. It's 
still kind of trending lower. Take a look at a little bit longer term chart. Here's a daily. Um, I haven't taken out this low of 9,000 yet, but you know we're getting closer, and uh, Ethereum is still hanging around 1,100. It's actually up on the day. Again, you know, looking to buy dips in these things, I'd like to see a, you know, if we got a dip in Ethereum down to the 200 day, down to the 7750, I think that's a, or that's in a Bitcoin, I think you can buy that. Um, Ethereum is well above, you know, still buying, still buying dips in Ethereum. We, we do believe in that, in that uh, blockchain technology. Uh, the stock market had a, a difficult time today. Again, uh, one thing we're watching very closely, uh, let's get up to daily. So we've had, you know, a couple down days in a row. Today we closed off the lows. Um, and it's just open, it's opening back up now. But we did close off the lows, kind of a doji-ish type reversal day in the S&Ps, and they were under a lot of pressure. Uh, the NASDAQ performed a little bit better. Um, but either way, we, we are watching this very closely. Uh, I think we discussed this yesterday. If we can start, if we can close under this week's low, let's get to the weekly. Here's a weekly chart. So we opened up the on uh, on on Monday morning Asia. Um, we opened up it down at 28.02. I'm watching this pattern very very closely. Um, I'm smalls bearish stocks. Feel like it's had a good run in January. There was some rebalancing going on again today with some of that selling. Probably get a little pop the next couple of days. But if, if we do close under uh, 2,800 in the S&P, uh, I'll be calling for uh, further weakness and, you know, looking for kind of a 3 to 5% correction, uh, you know, in the, in the first couple of weeks of February. So we're watching it closely. Uh, it's it's the, just looking at the weekly, this is a parabolic type move. Nothing goes straight up. But I have not acted yet on this. My colleague has been selling it kind of intraday and, and, and gotten some good prices yesterday and you know is yielding some yielding some ticks for sure. But for me, I'm looking for a, a close under 2800, looking for a three to five percent correction over the next two to four weeks. And that's a uh, that's a trade I'll be making. So I'll be paying attention the next couple of days. Uh, that's about it. Not much really out during Asia. Aussie building permits. Uh, that's about it. You will hear from us on the European Open. Good luck trading, and we will speak to you tomorrow. Cheers.